Hi there, and welcome to Ian's Engage channel. I'm Ian. May I first apologise for my voice. A sore throat and a blocked up nose are definitely in league with each other to try and prevent me from recording this. Anyway, in a previous video I shared a short update about how my Pullman coach collection was coming along. In this video I'm going to show how I've probably completed the rake over the past few months and take you through the coaches in more detail. The models I'm collecting are of the Pullman coaches that were built in the early 1960s that were based on the BR Mark I carriage design and built by Metro Camel. Over 40 of these coaches were built to modernise the Pullman services on the East Coast mainline. I have to say a big thank you to John of Exhaven Harbour who, a few months ago, directed me to a model shop selling Pullman coaches at very reasonable prices. Ron Lines is a model shop that's based not too far away from me, near Southampton, so it was good to be able to support a local business as I snapped up three of their coaches. The first was a first-class kitchen coach named Falcon. All of the first-class kitchen coaches were given a bird-related name, and other names included Eagle, Magpie, Raven and Finch. Originally, the coaches seated 20 people, but when they were refurbished in the mid-1960s, their capacity was increased to 26. The second was a first-class parlour coach named Amethyst. The first-class parlour coaches were all named after gemstones, and other names included Emerald, Pearl and Topaz. When the coaches were refurbished in the mid-60s, they were done so to a less luxurious standard, and their capacity was increased. My third and final purchase from Ron Lines was a second-class kitchen coach, Car 334. The second-class kitchen and parlour coaches didn't have names and were given car numbers instead. Like their first-class counterparts, the capacity of the second-class kitchen coaches was also increased during refurbishment. So, the four coaches were looking good, but I fancied that another two would be required to complete the rake. Inevitably, I had to return to eBay to grab the next editions, which turned out to be a pair of coaches being sold in one lot. These turned out to be only a few pounds more than the coaches from Ron Lines, so I was pleased with their price. The first of the pair was another second-class kitchen coach, this time numbered car 340. The majority of the second-class kitchen coaches were out of service by the end of 1972, and they were withdrawn from BR stock completely in 1977. The second of the pair was a second-class parlour coach, numbered car 353. Second class parlour coaches were phased out on most services by the late 60s and early 70s due to there being little difference between them and the first class parlour coaches after they had been refurbished. While not quite as luxurious in the real world, in the N-gauge world the numbered coaches are just as detailed as the named coaches. However, weirdly, you always seem to pay a premium for the named coaches. So, What's in a name? Well, about 15 quid if prices on eBay are anything to go by. Paying over the odds for the named coaches was definitely an easy thing to do. Oh, and do you remember my first purchase, the Hadrian Bar Coach? If you do, then you may remember as well that I had some trouble with it. It had no couplers and the wheels wouldn't turn properly. Well... After I contacted the seller, they apologised for failing to mention the defective bogies in the listing, saying it was an unfortunate oversight. They offered me a partial refund, which I gratefully accepted. All six of the Pullman coaches I've purchased have been second-hand, pre-owned or pre-loved, whichever you prefer, so I've definitely taken chances on their condition. As you can see from the photographs though, they're all in excellent condition cosmetically, and once I'd fixed the Hadrian Bar Coach, you can see that they all run really well. Hi. 
I'd hate to think how much the rake would cost to purchase new, with some retailers wanting upwards of £70 for a single model. I'm very happy to have paid less than £180 for my whole rake, which includes the price of new bogies and couplers to fix the Hadrian barcodes. I'm pretty sure that I've now completed my Pullman coach purchases, although I must admit to being tempted to get another first class kitchen coach. That would take the rake to seven coaches long though, and as it stands, I don't actually have a station or a siding planned that is long enough to accommodate such a long train. In terms of haulage, I think that the standard 5MT looks pretty good pulling the coaches. But I think I've decided that a green liveried A3 would look better. I know Shelfington will be set in the 1970s and early 80s, but Rail 2 has existed back then, right? I know they did, because I went on a few, so that'll be my excuse for running them. And anyway, Rail 1 always applies, doesn't it? I'd love to pick up a sound fitted Scotsman at some point, although we'll probably need to wait for Dapple or Farish to make one first. For the moment though, I'm happy for the Black Five to take responsibility for pulling the Pullmans. Okay, so that's about it for this update. I'm pretty pleased with how my Pullman rake has come together, as I've always wanted one since travelling in a Pullman coach back in my double O days, over 35 years ago. Let me know if you've ever built a train purely for nostalgic reasons. I guess there should be many stories, as we're all trying to recapture moments from our past by building a model railway in the first place. Alternatively, if you've got any hints, tips, useful tools or techniques to pass on to a beginner in Engage Modelling, or if you simply want to say hello, then please do so in the comments section. Anything and everything you've got to say will be greatly appreciated. In the meantime, thanks ever so much for watching. Hopefully I'll have another update soon. Bye.